Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is just going to be a run through of what's been going on, what my goals are for this year, short term goals, long term goals and just a kind of update on everything that's happening in my life. So if you're interested then stay tuned, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and anything else you want to see, any questions you have, just pop them below in the comments section. Because you were the best. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you with me outside. I'm going to go on a little walk and we're going to have a little sit down chat. It is super duper hot here, like 30 odd degrees. So I am going to drink some of my EAAs, Chemical Warfare Intra Surgents. And I've nearly run out. This makes me sad. I've nearly run out. So I'm going to have one scoop. It's rest day today, but I still do need to get my steps in. And I still need to stay hydrated. So catch you in a moment. out for a walk and the weather is just beautiful I mean we're talking like 30 plus degrees so uh, I put a question box up on my Instagram so I could answer a few questions here and just kind of fill you in on what's going on so as most of you are aware I'm currently in Arizona in America um, I left England beginning of February. I had to go to Dubai first. So I was there for two weeks and then flew over to America. And it's been absolutely amazing. Obviously it's April now, so I've been here a few months and I absolutely love it. Um, my team are here. So both my coaches, my team, my friends, really good people are uh, just, I can't really explain how good the vibes are here, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, it's just so different. I just love America, to be honest, especially Arizona. I know there are many places in America that are all very different, but Arizona is definitely top of my list for favorite places in the world. So not only is it hot, not only is there good people, I've been fortunate enough to be able to train the whole time I've been here uh, when I was in Dubai as well. Gyms were open, so I was able to train and just focus on me, focus on nutrition, uh, figure out what I'm going to do with prep, my routine. Many of you know I went through something back in December, um, sort of big life changes. Obviously, I'm not going to go into detail about that. I just feel like it's not really necessary big life changes obviously and um, I was in a really difficult place I was in a very uh, a very horrible place to be honest I was very very upset very hurt very emotional very confused but I'm a very strong woman and I don't just mope about I am um, figure stuff out and move forwards and just focus on what I can do to make my life better um, and what I can do to make myself feel better because yeah I was in a bit of a bad place but I feel great right now so I'm really really happy this has been amazing for me it's exactly what I needed and I will be honest I'm home in two weeks um, back to the UK and I am scared <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I'm a bit worried nervous uh, don't know if I'm ready to go home but I know I have to go home yeah there's a kind of whole mix of emotions um, with that to be honest because I, I'm excited to see my family see my mum my sister my nephew see my best friend Hayley my other friends my cats my babies I've missed them so much so 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 much and obviously I get to go back to work. So my cabaret show starts up again on May 21st. Uh, if you want to book in, it's dinner and a show. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, amazing show. 
um, that's every Friday and then I do some Saturdays as well so that starts up again May 21st so I'm so excited about that because I love performing I love working at Moo Moo's I've been there over seven years now as a resident performer so that's all really cool I don't have a home so obviously I moved out I was renting accommodation um, and obviously I packed up my house and everything so my stuff's in storage so I need to find somewhere to live um, but obviously I have places I can stay I've got my mum and my sister um, so I'll just have to find somewhere to live, um, which will be interesting. Um, I lived on my own before. I lived on my own for years um, with cats. So that's not a problem. Um, that'll be nice. Have my own space. But yeah, just need to sort of figure all that out when I get home. So that's going to be a bit like overwhelming, I guess. Getting home, getting back to work, finding somewhere to live, getting back into the swing of things, the weather being cold. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be hot by the time I get back. But I have seen that it's been snowing in England, like in April, what the heck? Like, is that even normal? I don't think it is. So yeah, there'll be a lot of things that are gonna be kind of different when I get back. More responsibility again, but that's fine. It's cool, um, I'll make it work. I've got a good group of people in England, obviously amazing group of people here. So I'm sure I will figure it all out and be just fine. So enough about that. My plans are as it stands. I'm prepping for uh, my pro show, the first one of this year, which will be Portugal. So that is in, I believe it is 13 weeks, 13 and a half weeks. I was gonna do Bahamas show, or it's the Puerto Rico show, but they were having it in the Bahamas. But with travel and uncertainty with things like that, and the cost of traveling there when I've just been here, I just feel like it didn't really make much sense, especially when there's the Portugal show in July, which is obviously Europe, so I can just hop on a quick flight um, and not have to be there for too long, just a few days, not miss too much work. So that's what I'm going to aim for is the Portugal show. Yeah, 13 and a half weeks. I'm feeling good. I've been training so hard since I've been here. Um, my eating's been on point. My recovery, my sleep when I first got here was terrible um, because I was still pretty stressed, pretty emotional. It's much better now. I've been using um, a supplement by my new sponsor called PM Eradicate, which is for sleep and fat burning and also take um, CBD drops by my sponsor Refill Station. So combining the two of those regularly every night, taking those has helped massively. Um, and then I just try and get into a really good routine where I wake up at the same time every morning, go do my cardio, go out for my walk or do my hit, train nice and early in the day so then I can unwind and relax in the evening. And my sleep at, for the most part is good now um, still some nights where it's not as great but it's much better than it was I feel like emotionally I'm better um, like I was crying a lot you know how it is and I'm not really crying anymore which is good <laughs> uh, so I think hopefully my stress and cortisol levels have lowered maybe um, but it is frustrating because my weight still hasn't budged but that is what it is I always do this on prep my body always takes forever even though I'm working my butt off it's always a massive delay for me so I just have to remind myself this happens every time it can be like 10 weeks I'll stay the same weight and then suddenly it drops and everything just starts clicking into place and all the hard work pays off so I'm sure that will happen again but yeah currently I'm still like 143 144 pounds and I last year I stepped on stage at 124.5 so yeah we kind of got just under 20 pounds to go and 13 and a half weeks um, it's definitely doable it will happen I'm like I said I'm putting all the work in I'm doing what I'm meant to be doing so hopefully um, it all catches up soon and my body starts to drop but I have seen changes like my body composition is different I'm definitely more muscular I am definitely leaner so visibly I can see it my measurements are coming down so just remember it's not always about the number on the scales don't get hung up on that easier said than done trust me I know so that's my show Portugal uh, yeah going home in two weeks back to work mid-may or well, end of May um, obviously I have all my online coaching, I've been doing posing, coaching uh, via Zoom, which has been great, it's been difficult because there's an eight hour difference between um, Arizona and England, but I've made it work with my clients, which has been awesome, they've been amazing. So got some new clients come on board for the back to the gym shred, uh, because gyms reopen on Monday, and honestly I was, I was emotional when I saw everyone's stories, everyone excited, everyone buzzing. Um, I train at Evolution, 
in England and they've been amazing to me during lockdown as well so it was so nice to see them back up and running and everyone just pumped and ready to go uh, it's been a long time coming so I was so excited for everyone to be back in the gyms so hopefully you're all training hard and uh, not overdoing it because you're gonna be sore I bet you're all suffering from doms right now if you are Epsom salt baths ice baths get some massage uh, creams on stretch foam roll all that jazz very important lots of water you know the drill uh, so I had a few questions some were asking about my personal life which I'm not gonna go into because I just feel like it's not really anyone's business and I kind of feel like it's pointless it's just pointless um, yeah there's just no need um, some were asking me what else I'm gonna miss about Arizona so I'm gonna miss the people the people Whitney has been amazing Sally Katie Jenea um, Kat like they're all just just amazing people I love their personalities they're outgoing they're like-minded hard-working just fun I'm gonna miss them so much uh, I really really am the gym is amazing the equipment in the gym is so much so much equipment for glutes and legs I love it uh, and I love the atmosphere in the gym like a lot of people that compete or just hard workers and it's nice to see that it's nice to be around that of course I'm gonna miss the weather this heat is amazing I know I haven't got much of a tan I'm obsessed with protecting my skin which is, is a good thing right so I wear like factor 30 or factor 50 <laughs> so I haven't really got a tan but I feel like I'm glowing I feel like I'm glowing I feel good it makes me happy I mean come on sunshine makes everyone happy so I am for sure gonna miss the heat Trader Joe's <laughs> I'm gonna miss Trader Joe's because they do these overnight oats which just taste incredible and these um carrots what are they they're like dehydrated carrots i'm sure i could find them in england but i do love them and the pink and green monsters the zero calorie monsters they've got every flavor imaginable here and i know they don't have all those flavors in england so i'm gonna miss that and um, the hikes i kind of have a love-hate relationship with the hikes the vibe in america or the vibe at least in arizona like the freedom everyone is free here you don't have to wear your masks um, you can go out and party if you want you can dance everything is open so obviously I know England isn't quite there yet I know it's getting there gradually obviously with the gyms reopening hairdressers outdoor pubs and restaurants but hopefully um, they will jump on board with places like Texas and Arizona and uh, open up everything soon because just you know we need our lives back we really really do um, yeah it feels good here so hopefully that will be happening ASAP in England uh, my goals for this year so I had a few questions asking what my plans are so obviously I have the show in Portugal in July so if I was to win that show I would qualify for the Olympia this year um, if not I would possibly jump in another show I think there's one in Spain in August and then the Arnold UK which was just announced and they have fitness that's in October but that one is a qualifier for the 2022 Olympia so if you win that then you go to the 2022 Olympia but obviously I would like to well I definitely want to qualify for the 21 Olympia so I will do what it takes to do that this year and get back on the Olympia stage because the last time I was on that stage was 2018 I did qualify in 2019 but I chose not to do it because I got married uh, and then obviously COVID last year so get back to the Olympia this year is the goal I've been practicing my new routine I have all that sorted I've got the music being kind of remixed right now but it's so, I'm so excited about the theme of this routine like it's it's gonna be fun like I get excited thinking about it when the music comes on I'm like oh yes so hopefully that will resonate with the audience and the people at home or whoever gets to watch it um, I, I'm excited about it. It's fun. It's it's going to be a good routine and chuck in some new skills as well. So I've been working hard on all of that while I've been here and that's what I will continue doing when I get home. Prep will continue. So short term goals, just take each day as it comes with prep each week um, not stress. Just keep focused on my, my stress levels, my sleep, my water finding somewhere to live when I get home and just getting back into a routine and staying happy and positive when I get back to the UK. 
they're kind of like my short-term goals and then my long-term goals obviously win a show this year get to the olympia this year and then eventually you know back to the arnold whenever they i don't know if they're doing the arnold usa this year or not um, obviously they're not in australia because australia is still a bit kind of locked down or you can't travel there um and then obviously win some more shows over the years so that's pretty much that food wise my calories are kind of like like 1500 on a low day 1900 on a high day i am a bit i don't really want to do my high days because my weight's not dropping at the moment i get a bit like oh i don't want to do a high day but for me I can never have super duper high calories. Like I eat a lot in my off season. I kind of freestyle and eat and train really heavy in my off season. So I probably do get my calories up pretty high, but I'm one of those, like I gain muscle easy, but I also gain fat easy. So it's great that I can gain muscle, but it means I never get to eat a ton of food. Um, it just is what it is. Everyone's different. I have some clients that are really petite and they're on like two, three thousand calories a day doing like no cardio. It's just everyone is different. So don't take what I'm doing as, you know, that's what you should be doing. Um, that's why you get a coach uh, to work with you on that. All my clients are different. And obviously what I'm doing is what's hopefully going to work for me. And all of my preps have been pretty different as well. Um, but I'm doing my HIIT training, like I'm doing a circuit three times a week for like 25 minutes. I hit 12,000 steps a day. I make sure that at least like 20 to 30 minutes of that is um, a piece of cardio equipment. So it's like a high incline power walk and I'm getting a really good sweat on, not just strolling around the neighborhood, which I do to get the rest of my steps in. And then I train five times a week. I do a leg session, um, a leg session, which is like a circuit for 30 minutes. Then I do two uh, back sessions. One is just back and glutes. One is um, back shoulders and glutes. And one is shoulders and glutes, lots of glutes. And then I have two rest days where I still hit my step count and I will try and get in like an ice bath for recovery, do some extra stretching. And then obviously I do like my skills and routine practice. So usually try and fit that in on a training day. Sometimes it falls on a rest day. Um, again, just listen to my body, make it work. I see Charlie for body work every single Monday. So I get an hour of work done all over. It's like a massage. He does a bit of cupping, things like that, just to keep my body feeling good and in good working order. So when I get back to the UK, I will see Will. So I'll put a link um, to Will's Instagram and I'll be seeing him every week. And then if I need more intense treatment, I see a guy called Kev and he usually works on me when I have like an injury or something that needs extra work. Will and Kev will be my go-to people when I return home. So I've also decided this year that I'm going to go for a different colour bikini. Totally different colour suit. So that's pretty exciting. I'm not going to tell you what the colour is. If you have any suggestions or ideas, pop them below. Maybe I will take your suggestions on board, but I'm pretty sure I know what colour I'm going to go for. But it's very, very different. I need to get my routine costume made um, again i've got ideas for that so hopefully that can start being worked on soon as well um, obviously i get my tan done by lsr who are amazing um, i've got a code for them if you need a tan for any of your shows and that's pretty much it i think is that everything i need to update you on i guess so a lot of you asked me how i am which is so sweet and i really appreciate how much you guys care it really means a lot over the last few months you've been amazing really amazing like so so supportive so loving um i've also had a few people reach out who have been through situations themselves and um you know we've had a little chat and i feel like you know i've, I've shared my thoughts and things on how to deal with certain situations and hopefully that's helped a few people out as well you just got to be strong and just crack on crack on um life is for living you just got to stay happy stay positive try and be as motivated as you can and if you're not motivated just remember be disciplined that's what it's all about we're not always motivated every day but we just get up and we get it done that's uh that's the difference between 
a winner and a loser you get it done even on the days when you really really don't want to but to be fair i haven't had too many of those days whilst being here hopefully i don't have those days when i'm back in england if i do it's fine we'll just get through it we just keep smiling so i think that i have gone on enough like i said if there's any questions or anything you want me to talk about please just comment below and i will do another video for you guys touching on those subjects but i hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are whatever you're doing and if you're going through a hard time just remember it won't last forever you can get through it and you just got to stay strong okay stay strong stay positive surround yourself with good people don't be afraid to take time by yourself so you can just feel those feelings you've got to feel them to kind of get past them to heal all that jazz all that cheesy stuff and just remember if you are going through a tough time talk to someone always talk to someone there will always be someone who's willing to listen and willing to help and if you don't have people close by that you can talk to then speak to a professional because that's what they're there for that's it from me anyway so stay happy stay positive keep crushing your goals and it's never too late to achieve your dreams so go after it no matter what it is give it your everything and i'm sure your dreams will come true okay that's it from me thank you so much love to you all have a great day and i will see you soon bye